All right, before we get into the video, really quick, I've been seeing some comments from people saying that they don't know that I have a podcast, even though I plug it at the end of every single one of my videos. But uh, I have a weekly podcast called Very Really Good. It's on Spotify and iTunes, and it's got its own YouTube channel. I, I film the podcast and stuff. So if you like podcasts, give mine a listen and stuff. Cool. Enjoy the video. It's called Fashion Dude. Look it up. All right, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's so good to see you again, dude. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press that little subscribe button down there for an extra greeting. I wore this shirt for this video, but it's out of frame the whole time. But just know, just know that that's what it says. Folks! Okay, it's that time of year again, dude. Halloween. Well, hopefully. I, this video is probably going to be late, but whatever. It's spooky time, okay? It's the scariest time of the year. O other than tax season, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> My original plan was to watch a really bad horror movie and kind of, you know, make fun of it. But uh, in my last video, I, I ended up referencing the movie Baby Geniuses. I basically said in my last video that Baby Geniuses was basically a horror movie because it had talking babies. So obviously it's the scariest thing of all time. And dude, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I used to watch Baby Geniuses like all the time, like once a week. It was in my like heavy rotation of VHS tapes. I loved it, you know, cause I was a kid, there were kids in the movie. So, you know, we were kind of vibing on that <laughs> level. So I did what any person would do in my position. Uh, I bought the movie and watched it two times in a row. Uh, and then after that, I realized it was on Netflix the whole time. So, so that's cool. And guess what? My hypothesis was correct, okay? This movie is terrifying. Baby Geniuses is the scariest movie ever made. And I almost pooped my diaper several times watching it. So today we're gonna take a close look at Baby Geniuses to celebrate Halloween 2019. And if you don't think Baby Geniuses is a horror movie by the end of this video, you will think so, and that is a guarantee. So Baby Geniuses was released on March 12th, 1999, and it grossed over $36 million in the box office. Take that, Gooby. <laughs> Here's the synopsis. Scientists hold talking, super intelligent babies captive, but things take a turn for the worse when a mix-up occurs between a baby genius and its twin. And with a whopping 2% on Rotten Tomatoes and reviews such as one completely unwatchable piece of bottom-feeding dreck, you can feel your brain rotting as you watch this. And the movie is about as endearing as unanestheticized gum surgery. It's bound to be a good time. I hope I said that word correctly. Unanesthetized. Unanesthetized. Idiot! All right, without further ado, let's watch Baby Geniuses. So the movie starts off at the super top secret facility where they keep these uh, baby geniuses. And we find out that the main character, the main baby, has escaped. Sylvester, he's escaped. Yeah, his name is Sylvester. A baby named Sylvester is the main character of this film. We're 20 seconds in and I already want to throw up. Sylvester? Dude, that's the ugliest baby name in the world, dude. You might as well name him like Chunky or Limpo or something. Sorry if there's anyone named Sylvester who watches my videos. Uh, I'm sure you're great, but... <laughs> so there's this huge search to find Sylvester. They send like a hundred dudes to find one baby. There he is. <laughs> That's our guy. Okay, this next scene is where it starts to get really fucking creepy and terrifying. So a little backstory, I guess. This movie was made in 1999, and as we all know, uh, special effects and CGI, uh, they weren't that good yet. So the adult geniuses who made baby geniuses, uh, they didn't want to worry about like directing children and making sure they were making the correct face or not, because contrary to the movie, babies are dumb as shit. So their idea was to just film the kids doing whatever, and then they're just gonna CGI the kids' heads onto the kids' bodies. So let's see what that looks like. Stop him! I guess for 1999 that's okay, but watching it now? Ah, uh, <laughs> I hate it. So much. There's just something so creepy about a baby not moving like a baby that... Disgusting! I hate it a lot. 
Notice anything about that laugh there? That is the same laugh sound effect that they used, I don't know, 10 seconds ago? <laughs> And they use it a lot in this movie, okay? So we're gonna keep a tally up on the screen somewhere to show how many times they use the exact same sound laugh effect through the whole movie. Cause it's a lot, it's too much. Okay, so he's running and he gets caught uh, by Christopher Lloyd. Oh yeah, <laughs> Christopher Lloyd is in this movie. An actor that played one of the most iconic roles of all time. He's in Baby Geniuses. Hey, maybe that means his character is gonna be a good part of the movie and the movie's gonna be okay in the end? Mm-mm, no. Ah, ah, ah. I bet he thinks he, he, I bet he wishes that he could go back in a DeLorean and not be in that movie, right? Probably. Okay, so Sylvester is a super baby genius who's really good at karate for some reason. I don't know. Nearly blew us away with karate. They never explain it, obviously. And just in case you're not a baby genius yourself and you have some questions, the movie explains everything to you, which is great. Two years ago, twin brothers Sylvester and Wit were born to a specially selected surrogate mother. Director of operations, Dr. Elena Kinder, then arranged for baby Wit to be adopted into the home of her niece and her niece's husband, Dr. Dan Bobbins. Oh. Baby Sly was placed in the Baby Co. hyperdevelopmental habitat to be raised under the guidance of the Kinder Method. It is imperative for the integrity of this experiment that no one ever discover that Sly and Wit are twins. Makes sense. So now we know they raise baby geniuses in a lab and there are these two twins named Sly and Wit. Ooh. Oh, oh, boo! Can we not name the main characters after the trait that you want them to have? That's insane, dude. That doesn't happen in real life. That's, I wasn't named uh, handsome, hilarious, awesome, strong, tall, perfect. Also, this is nitpicky, but Sylvester is spelt like S-Y-L and then Vester, right? It's not S-L-Y. With that logic, my nickname would be Crut. Crut. Hey, cut it out. So now we find out about the other villain, Dr. Kinder, and she's actually this lady's aunt, who is uh, the mother of Wit. She's also the CEO of Baby Co. Founder and CEO of Baby Co. Which is, uh, which is a company uh, that specializes in babies. You know, dude, that Shark Tank pitch must have been awesome. Hi, sharks. Baby. No. Uh, bleh. Okay. Hey, baby. Shark? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we at Baby Co. believe that babies have a language of their own, and we're dedicated to proving it. So, Baby Co. is a company that thinks that babies have a language of their own, and they also have the secrets to the universe. They also just love babies. We love babies. So they open this cool, fun amusement park called Joy World, and this is where we see their uh, mascot. And holy shit, scariest thing in the world, by far. Dude, I don't know how I watched this movie when I was a kid, because watching it now as a 25-year-old adult, I'm gonna have nightmares, dude. It does a lot of good, you gotta admit that. She's good at stealing your ideas, that's what she's good at. Attention, has anyone lost a baby? A very big baby. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh... That looks like Boo Boo Boy from chapter two of Baby's Good Day. Baby Bunny came into this world just last week. What the fuck? What's your name, little girl? Erin. My name is Erin. Oh, what a sweet name. Give Baby Bunting a big hug. Why would you put that in a kid's film, dude? Why would you put that in a child's movie? Oh my god. I'm gonna wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night because of this fucking huge adult-sized baby, or whatever its fucking name is. What is his name? Okay, Richard, give me Baby Bunting Bobo. <laughs> what did they say? Baby Bunting Bobo? Give me Baby Bunting Bobo. Give me Baby Bunting Bobo. I'm gonna put on subtitles because I don't... I don't know what they just said. Give me Baby Bunting Bobo. Baby Bunting Vocals. So... So the, the mascot's name is Baby Bunting? Huh? <laughs> that just sounds like something a deranged baseball player would do. He is sickening to look at. Not like a good, not like a, that good term, like, oh my God, sickening. No, it's like, I'm fucking, I'm gonna throw up just looking at Baby Bunting, dude. Okay, so these two people, they're like, they're the adoptive parents of Wit, uh, but they don't know that, uh, that he has a twin brother named Sylvester. And they also own this like cute little daycare center. 
Also, apparently the dad is like some genius when it comes to baby talk. So, uh, <laughs> and that baby co lady like steals all of his ideas or some shit. I don't, it's so dumb, man. I, I hate this. Yo, bro, what's your major? Um, I don't know. Uh -huh. Can't you tell? Why are you talking like that? I'm majoring in baby talk. I'm at the top of my class. Ugh, I did. I don't like this. I didn't. I don't. Th I didn't think you could major in that. <coughs> you just shit your diaper. Yeah, it's my homework. Give me the light wrench. Wait, hurry up. Go. I'm the devil. Wait. Oh, oh. So uh -oh. we throw a wrench at man balls, and it's funny. Ha 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 ha. And we got another laugh. Let's put it up there. This is a monkey wrench. Mama's helper number one. You're fired. Get out of town. <laughs> and another one. Oh my fucking. That was like five seconds, dude. Put another fucking copy paste laugh thing up there. Jesus Christ, man. Now, if you thought the plot before was really confusing, ah. Uh... Just you wait. I don't know what sound that was. <laughs> this is where the plot just fucking throws all logic out the door. So here we go. What we hear as incoherent noise may actually be a musical masterpiece. Listen to our computer's interpretation of Basil's playing. That's remarkable. Okay. Well, but if that's the case, it's possible that what we hear as baby talk is actually conversation. Okay. After checking several hundred languages, we found out they are writing the ancient and forgotten language of cuneiform. Not only do these babies speak their own language, they understand all others. Okay. Every baby might know the secrets of the universe. All right. Okay, so this is where I start having a really big issue with the plot because it just doesn't make sense straight up. So they study these baby geniuses uh, to find out the, the secrets of the universe because babies are born with that knowledge. But as we go on through the movie, we find out that every baby Every baby is born with that knowledge and they have they they have they hold the secrets to the universe. So what's special with what's special about these babies? Why these babies? They're like these are the special babies, but every baby knows it and they know it too. So I don't know why these It's so dumb. <laughs> also, I know this is a fictional movie, but you want me to believe that babies know everything about the universe? Okay. In that case, dude, we should all just rub peanut butter on our bodies and go, ah. Also, that's so creepy. Babies just like know everything about the universe and they speak in some old archaic forgotten language. They're demons. Ah, they're demons for sure. Yeah. Oh my God, he's yeah. gonna say his first words. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. He's so cute. Okay, now it's time we get really scared again. Uh, <laughs> this is when we see the babies talk to each other for the first time, and they use CGI for that as well. I read that uh, when they were filming the movie, the babies just had like, they their mouths were closed the whole time, and then they put a CG mouth like over it. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. Enlighten me, my little Einstein. What do you think? Should I enlighten her? She won't understand. She doesn't speak our language. But go ahead, have fun. All right, all right, that does it. Listen, Doc, if you're gonna talk out of your ass all the time, maybe you should wear a bow tie on your butt. <laughs> bow tie on her butt? <laughs> That's disgusting, Sylvester. Ugh, man, so I'm not over this. I hate it so much. I hate when they talk. Cause you know when he, Ray, when we when we talk, we have like different expressions and our eyebrows move and we have all these facial muscles that do things in accordance with what we're saying, right? To like show emotions. But it, it, the babies, it's just their mouths moving. That's it. I'm gonna do the rest of the video like that with just my mouth moving and nothing else moving at all. Just kidding. Uh, I want you guys to watch this whole video, so I won't do that. <laughs> okay, so back in the daycare now and uh, another fucking copy paste laugh. <laughs> They couldn't have just gotten one more laugh. They couldn't have got a kid to laugh one more time to switch it up, huh? They got one, they made a funny face at one kid and it, and it went. <laughs> and they were like, good, cut, print, it's good. Let's use it for the whole movie and piss Curtis off. Okay, so now we meet this weird secondary character named uh, Dickie. Uh, he works at the daycare, but his whole character arc is him uh, dressing up in different ways uh, so he can get fired because he doesn't like his job. That's his whole arc. That's all you need to know about him. But if I'm being honest, 
Dickie walked so E-Boys could run, okay? He is the original E-Boy, I think. Dick E-Boy. Dicky Boy. That's his name now. I'm going to call him Dicky Boy. Rub him up. He could use that pink one he's got on his head. <laughs> okay, and another fucking laugh. Jesus Christ. Okay, so in this next scene, the dad somehow understands something that Wit says because he's an expert in baby talk. By a factor of four at least. He just said clear as a bell by a factor of four at least. And, uh, and Wit and his sister freak out because then he might find out about the secrets of the universe, right? He's gonna want us to explain the secrets of the universe. Holy shit, man, this movie. Okay. I've decided the first time I speak, I'm just gonna quote the Gettysburg Address flat out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now back at the lab, Sylvester is trying to escape again. Spoiler alert, he does, but this scene when he's about to escape is my favorite, dude. It is so amazing. Why do you ask? Let me tell you. So they do a lot of close-up shots of uh, Sylvester's hands, um, but I notice when I watch it that the hands are moving like really precisely and quickly, ways that babies' hands don't move, right? Because babies are dumb and they, they can't grab stuff because they're still trying to figure out how to be a person, right? So when you look really close at the hands, they have like wrinkles and stuff. And the fingernails are like dirty and they, they're they weathered hands. So this, it's an adult pretending to be a baby. And it's so funny to me to think that they just put out a casting call for really tiny hands. Oh, casting call? Looking for people with little tiny baby hands. <gasps> it's my big break. So Sylvester and his wrinkly, wrinkly little hands escape the lab. Then he gets kidnapped by a homeless man, and then he beats the shit out of a homeless man. Yep, there's a thing that happens. And of course, he says what we all say after we just beat up someone. Come back when you're ready to play in the bigs. I gotta get a disguise. <laughs> okay, so then Sly, he fucking hops in another baby stroller and this right here might be my least favorite scene in any movie of all time dude it must be it i it might be worse than the christian mingle sushi oh, scene oh. i know it's a bold statement but just just wait hey babe where are we going since i can't walk i guess we're going wherever my mother's going look i got a problem take off your clothes Ooh, okay slick but at least you could take me to dinner first uh. Uh. Who designed this dress, Larry, Moe, and Curly? Call me. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh. <clears throat> okay, let's try to put that out of our fucking heads. Sylvester stays the night overnight in this Macy's, and there's a fun little montage of him trying on a bunch of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take back what I said before about the stroller scene being the worst. That's the worst, dude. Dude, that must have taken so long for them to do those effects. And for what? For me to hold back vomit? Congrats, guys. <laughs> they should have just told the actual kid to just dance. That would have been funny, probably. At the very least, it would have been adorable, right? But no, they had to hire some, like, I guess shorter person, put a green sock over their fucking head and be like, dance. Dance, we're gonna put a baby head on you. Just dance, it'll be good. What the fuck, man? <laughs> okay, so the next day, Wit and his mom, they go to the mall, the same mall that Sylvester is at. <laughs> another fucking laugh, dude. Oh my God. Don't do another one. <laughs> Stop! They go to the same jungle gym, and big surprise, the bad people kidnap the wrong kid. If I had a dime, right? Well, okay, well, not not if I had a dime for every time I kidnapped the wrong kid. I mean, if I had a dime for I, if for every time I saw that in a movie, like a, someone uh, got the wrong twin. I don't steal babies from jungle gyms. Okay, after all this, Wit gets kidnapped and he just watches his brother get kidnapped in broad daylight by those creepy men. The little asshole, he didn't do a fucking thing about it. So he goes home with Wit's mom and he starts swinging on a rope and then he does back handsprings. Cause you know, he's a genius and that's what geniuses do. So he spends a day at home, but the sister sees right through him, okay? But fucking Sylvester is such an asshole to her, dude. <laughs> 
You fooled my mom and dad, but you don't fool me. What do you mean? You're not my brother. Don't be dumb. Jerk. She's gonna be trouble. Sorry for getting so mad at a fictional baby, but dude, Sylvester is violent. He has one laugh. He let his brother get kidnapped and he's not even gonna try to save him or anything. Dude, he's so unlikable. He is, he is the Gooby of babies. Sorry for the second Gooby reference already in this video, but that's the movie I compare every other movie to now. Guys, who? Fuck you, Sylvester. And to think I was gonna make a Sylvester, I hardly know her joke. <laughs> You're not even worth it, dude, you little brat. So back at the baby lab, they, uh, they, they realize that they have wit instead of Sylvester. So, um, but they're like happy about it for some reason because now they can like compare studies and shit. Crossing over. Oh, yeah, holy shit. Uh, sorry, I forgot. This movie has so many insane plot points that I just almost forgot about this, but when you turn two, you do this thing called crossing over. You forget all the secrets of the universe and you just become a regular person. And it's a very weird part to this movie and the kids treat it like they're, the other kids are dying. Don't worry, this is the way it's supposed to be. You'll all cross over soon. Bye. Don't go, Teddy. Look at that. Like I said, this is a horror movie. Don't go, miss you. She's crossing Hi. over, miss you. Okay, let's move it along. Okay, so Sylvester tells the other kids at the daycare what's going on with Baby Co. At the same time, Baby Co sends uh, two people to kidnap Sylvester. I heard about you and your karate. But the little douchebag Sylvester sets up a, a Home Alone style trap for these guys. I guess you expect me to step over this ski and then you'll jump on the end and then the end will jump up and hit me in the gonads and I'll scream and make a funny face and fall down the stairs, is that right? Well, I think you've been seeing too many bad movies, pal. Dude, are they saying that Home Alone is a bad movie? You are in no position to imply anything negative about the masterpiece that is Home Alone, okay? Fuck this movie, man. <laughs> man, hurt balls, fall downstairs, very funny. I wonder if we're gonna hear another laugh. So the other guy tries to go kidnap him, but same thing happens to him, hurts his balls, fall downstairs, ha 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 ha. Uh, so they both leave. They both got hit in the balls once and they leave. Marv got a nail through his foot and Harry burnt his scalp off and they still went after Kevin. You guys are fucking pussies. You can't talk shit about them. Dude, I'm heated. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end, okay? I promise. So now Sylvester and Wit use like their twin telepathy to like communicate with each other. That's a thing, that is a plot point in this movie. They never explain it before, they never explain it during or after. It's just a thing that happens. Baby Co is gonna take all the baby geniuses to some other facility far, far away, okay? So they hatch a little plan. So they hypnotize the sleeping plumber and inadvertently also hypnotize Dickie Boy and they like control their minds now. I don't know, man. I feel like this video is gonna be really long. I don't have time to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> so the hypnotized plumber drives them all to Baby Co. to save the baby geniuses. And back at the house, the sister tells the dad what's going on. Connect with your inner child. Uh, because the dad can now fully understand baby talk. I don't know what the fuck's going on and I don't have the time to even think about or try to figure it out. I'm just rolling with it, okay? I'm just, ro I'm just somersaulting with it. I'm just somersaulting like a genius. <laughs> so now we're at the final showdown and all the babies use uh, the amusement park robots to like fight back. So unfortunately that means we have to see baby bunting again. Come on, you can do it. Give me five. No. Oh. Baby wanna hug. Baby wanna ah, hug. No, Got no. Them, Why put this in a movie? Baby no. Okay, dude, I can't. I fucking can't watch this, dude. Well, I mean, I guess I can't get too mad at baby bunting because that's exactly what I do when I come home to my girlfriend. Baby wanna hold. Get the baby! Right cross! <laughs> oh my god! Right Whoa, you the one, baby! Okay, alien, a little target practice. <laughs> what the fuck? Blew his brains out! Oh my god! Oh, oh, you're home! Merry Christmas! And happy new year! Another laugh. 
Dude, with a little bit of editing, I feel like I can make a baby bunting horror movie trailer, okay? I know I can, okay? So here's that. That's scary. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost done, I promise. Whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, I'll give them that. That was cute. Okay, we're almost done. There's a rooftop showdown. Rooftop showdown. Rooftop showdown. Rooftop showdown. Dad! How many movies have ended with a fucking helicopter ladder? Helicopter? I hardly know her. We got one. <laughs> All right. Okay, so dad fall down, hurt head, ouch. Mom go save day, cops show up. Mom punch lady. All the babies are safe now. End of the movie, right? No, of course not. Why would it be? So the brothers cross over together. I'll see you on the other side. And uh, the movie ends with this very nice, wholesome line. Honey, I think she's trying to tell you this is the way things are supposed to be. Okay. No secrets of life. You want to see the real secret of life? Take a look. So sweet. End of the movie, right? Nope, not yet. The actual end of this movie is the most insane thing I have ever seen in my life. The last few minutes of the movie is a highlight reel of all the things that happened already in the movie with like slow emotional music behind it. I'm not joking, this is in the movie. What the fuck? Why? I was lost in the woods. <laughs> what? Why? What? I watched the movie. We watched the movie. Why play that? I've seen it. I've seen all these things, man. Dude, that is such a dumb way to end something. Just show the things that we already saw, but like slower and with an emotional soundtrack, dude. Okay, so that's Baby Geniuses. When I sat down to watch it, I was like kind of excited. I was like, maybe I'll feel like nostalgic and it'll be like, like old times. No, no, dude, it was the opposite. I felt sad and disappointed and scared and uncomfortable. Every bad feeling you could have, I had it. Like the plot is insane. The special effects are really off-putting and creepy, but I will say that this was actually the first movie they used CGI to like make it look like they're their lips were moving that's the first time anyone's ever done that in a movie so like kudos to them for going for it but like yikes yeah like the jokes weren't good or funny the uh, sylvester sylvester wasn't likable from the beginning because you know his name is sylvester in conclusion baby geniuses is a horror movie and i will not be taking any comments or criticisms at this time thank you and if you still disagree with me take one more look at baby bunting and you tell me this is not a horror movie Exactly, dude. So I think the one thing that I learned from this video is you got to be safe out there. Uh, you never know if a homeless man is going to kidnap you or if, uh, if a huge adult baby robot is going to punch you into some bushes. But you also need to be safe online, which brings us to today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, uh, you know all about ExpressVPN and how awesome they are. Uh, they've sponsored many of my videos in the past, and if you haven't given them a try yet, now's the perfect time, dude. I use ExpressVPN literally every day, whether I'm on my phone or my computer. I like knowing that my personal information is safe from those stinky, stinky little hackers. Especially when I'm like out in public at like a coffee shop getting some work done, uh, and I'm connected to like public Wi-Fi. 
If I don't use a VPN when I'm connected to that Wi-Fi, it is very easy for them to steal my credit card info or my social media passwords. It's scary, dude. People are bad. But all it takes is a couple clicks and ExpressVPN encrypts your internet data so you can browse the internet without worrying. ExpressVPN has the fastest speeds. They have server locations in 94 countries, giving you plenty of options to choose from. There are apps for every device, it's easy to use, and it was rated the number one VPN service by Tech Radar. And the sweet little cherry on top of all of this is that ExpressVPN is less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you got no reason not to give it a go, my guy. And it also helps out me and my channel as well. So take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free on a one-year subscription by clicking the link in my description or just going to expressvpn.com slash curtistown. So thanks again, ExpressVPN, bars, for sponsoring another one of my videos. Thanks for supporting the channel. That movie really brought it out of me, dude. I've now seen this movie four times, and I'm probably going to watch it another time when I'm editing, so can't wait. If you enjoyed the video, please press the like button. It means a lot. One like equals one pair of wrinkly, wrinkly baby hands. So that's pretty cool. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you watched this movie when you were younger. Let me know what you think of it now. Uh, let me know if you disagree, if you still like it for some reason. And uh, yeah, let me know if you wanna, if you have any other movie recommendations for me to watch. Uh, Cause making these videos as, as traumatizing as they are, they are a lot of fun to make. So um, yeah, thank you. Also don't forget to press the subscribe button because I make a video every single week and they're so much fun. And as soon as you press that subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtis Town. It is the best place in the world to live and I'm the mayor, so you have to be nice to me. It's the law. Yeah, check out the description for all the other things I do. My weekly podcast called Very Really Good. Um, I've started filming those and putting them up on my uh, on the, the podcast YouTube channel. So go check that out. Subscribe. Uh, my Instagram, my Twitter are down there. My the Curtis Town merch you can grab. Grab some sweet, sweet merch and wear it and show that you're proud of where you're from. Also, I got a few shows coming up in the New York area. So uh, links for those will be down there as well. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. I gotta go, though. I gotta go kill baby bunting. Okay, bye. <laughs>